90 years ago, in 1924, a time positioned between two world wars, at the threshold of the Great Depression, and with theological liberalism sweeping through seminaries across the United States, God moved in the hearts of three men who were burdened for their generation. Lewis Sperry Chafer, W.H. Griffith Thomas, and A.B. Winchester. These men urgently prayed for a seminary where all study would be centered on Scripture and faculty would share in common one textbook, the Bible. They envisioned a school that would be led by one teacher, the Holy Spirit. Unlike at other seminaries, the curriculum would cover all 66 books of the Bible, and its students would see grace lived out in their professors' lives. And, as history would tell, these three men realized their goal in 1924 when the Evangelical Theological College opened its door to the inaugural class. The first president was noted Bible teacher, Dr. Lewis Sperry Chafer, who handpicked the original 13 students. This seminary would equip men to teach and preach the scriptures using the expository method, examining God's word verse by verse and chapter by chapter. Since 1924, the world has been impacted by the ministries of DTS alumni, beginning with the first graduate, Roy Aldrich. After graduation, Roy helped establish the Detroit Bible College and served as president for 22 years. Six Aldriches followed Roy in attending DTS. Each decade since, the Lord has raised up new Christian leaders to speak to their times. The 1930s saw J. Vernon McGee, who launched Through the Bible radio program. Even today, his words still ring with truth and relevancy from a voice that is undeniable. His messages are broadcast in more than 100 languages and air daily in every continent. A student in the 1940s, Jim Rayburn met a challenge to reach teens for Christ. The first Young Life meeting was held on the DTS campus in the basement of Stearns Hall. In 2013, Young Life reached 1.4 million kids for Christ through their worldwide network of clubs and camps. Behind black horn rim glasses, Howard Hendricks arrived on campus in the 50s. He, in turn, went on to teach thousands of students in his 50-year career as a professor at DTS. Also known as an expert in the field of Christian leadership, our beloved prof helped shape many of the world's ministry leaders. In the 60s, at Dallas Seminary, a young Marine with a crew cut could be found both in the classroom and working as the seminary's groundskeeper. Chuck Swindoll prepared for the ministry by studying at DTS. Today, his Insight for Living broadcasts can be heard worldwide more than 2,000 times a day in seven different languages. DTS is blessed to have him serve as chancellor. As divorce rates escalated in the 70s, a young man with a heart for marriage and parenting resources arrived at DTS. Dennis Rainey went on to found Family Life, a ministry that reaches one and a half million families through radio, marriage and parenting conferences, books, study guides, and DVDs. In the 80s, Tony Evans completed his doctoral studies. Together with his wife Lois, he founded Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship. In the years since, the church has grown from 10 members to more than 9,700 members. Tony also founded and serves as president of The Alternative, a radio and television ministry that's committed to transforming inner city neighborhoods nationwide. In the 1990s, Randy Hahn came to DTS with the hope of making Christ known through the pastorate. Today, Randy serves as the senior pastor of Colonial Heights Baptist Church in Chesterfield, Virginia. Other graduates from the 90s include Russian Peter Miskovich, who serves as president of Moscow Theological Seminary, and Romanian Christian Barbosu, who serves as senior pastor at Harvest Metanoia Church in Arad, Romania. Since the year 2000, the DTS student body has included a growing number of international students. In 2013, students from 54 different countries attended DTS, adding a wonderful diversity to the seminary community. The student body has also included remarkable women, such as Letty Watkins, a Houston prison chaplain, Jenny Allen, a women's conference speaker and Bible study author, and Priscilla Shire, New York Times bestselling author and co-founder of Going Beyond Ministries. Today, the Lord is using DTS alumni in even larger spheres of influence. Terrence Brooks serves as a church planner in inner city LA, in nearby Hollywood, Naima Lett is an actor, producer, and co-church planner. At Texas A&M University, Ben Stewart leads Breakaway Ministries, teaching thousands of students every week. And Ed Condra serves as a translator and missionary with Wycliffe Bible Translators. These are just a tiny sampling of the more than 15,000 alumni who learned to teach truth and love well at DTS. Today, they serve in 104 countries, 
and some of their stories we can't even tell without compromising their safety. While much has changed in the world since 1924, including changes to DTS's campus and its technology, the vital, crucial things have remained the same. For 90 years, through the stewardship of its visionary leaders, including Presidents John Wolvert, Donald Campbell, Charles Swindoll, and Mark Bailey, DTS has stayed true to the original beliefs. The authority of Scripture is the Word of God. God's grace through the person and work of Jesus Christ. New life in the Spirit and the imminent return of Christ, which calls us all to fulfill the Great Commission. These essentials have driven DTS for 90 years, and they will continue to drive us by the grace of God until Christ returns. <laughs>